are the bones I got to roast for our beef stock. Oh, we have beef neck bones. 364, this is a pound and a half. And then I got some beef marrow bones. Some nice big ones right there. It's about two pounds and a half. And we're gonna roast these with our marrow. Yeah. The oven is preheated to 425. We're gonna pop these in there for about 30 minutes, pull them out and then put our vegetables in that we have rough chopped. This has been about 20 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and add our vegetables and roast for another 20 minutes. So total roast time will be 40 minutes. In our bowl here, we have our maripol. We have two onions, rough chopped, four carrots, rough chopped, rough chopped. Then we have celery, rough chopped. We have the bottom parts, the scraps, the leaves, the hearts. We have the bottoms of some parsley and then some crushed garlic in here. I added one six ounce of tomato paste to this. Any brand works perfect. Now, this is just a roasting process for our beef stock. Not a beef broth, a beef stock. Remember, the difference between a broth, it would be bones and somewhat meat to make a clear broth that you can do with soups, add other stuff to it, or just drink the broth alone. And whenever you put that in the fridge, it stays liquidy. Now a stock, will be mainly bones with slight meat on it. And that will be done, that will cook for more time. It'll be about two to four hours. And with that one in the fridge, it has more of a gelatin look to it because of the collagen that comes out of the bones from when it's reducing in the stock process, cooking over time. In the fridge, it has more of a gelatin look to it because of the collagen that it gets from the bones from it simmering for a long period of time. So that is basically the difference between, between a broth and a stock. Now this process right here, making this beef stock, is the halfway process to making a demi-gloss or demi-glace. Now a demi-gloss is basically like golden deliciousness in a jar. It takes a long time and a long process to get to that finished product, but this is the first half. And we'll explain that more in a different video when I do a video about Demi Gloss. And I'm also going to do a shortcut video on Demi Gloss. And now, if you've never heard of a Demi Gloss before, it's more of a French thing, but it's basically a foundation, a beef foundation, to enhance dishes, mainly beef dishes, and to make sauces like you know, Bordelais sauce, red, you know, red wine sauces, stuff like that. It's just, it's just very delicious. When people think of Demi Glass, they think of gold, because that's what it is. Usually this will take about two to three days to make a Demi Glass, because you want that to reduce all the way down until it thickens up. And basically that's this first half, which is a beef stock, and the second half will be adding in an Espanol, which Espanol sauce is basically what this will be is a beef stock and then you just thicken it with a roux which is basically flour and a fat content which is either oil or butter so anyway like i said long story and we'll get more into that when we actually do the demi gloss video for right now we're just doing regular beef stock and we're roasting this the beef the beef bones have been roasting for about 20 minutes we've just added our mirepoix onions celery carrots bits and pieces of our aromatics like ends of onions ends of green onions ends of parsley we have crushed garlic in here and we added one six ounce of tomato paste to this we're going to let this roast for another 20 minutes so total roasting time will be 40 minutes for the bones and 20 minutes for the vegetables on 425. all right 40 minutes later you guys and this is what we have Everything is nice and roasted and toasty. You don't want too much roast on the vegetables, more on the bones. Look at that bone marrow. Do you see that? Oh my God, this is gonna have so much good. Look at that. Now guys, in French school, we did the roasted bone marrow and you put it on like 
toast or, you know, baguette, whatever. And they love that. But me personally, I don't. A lot of people do. But just look at that. That's where we're going to get all our gelatin from. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to put this in our stock pot. Fill it up with water till we cover everything. Add some bay leaves to this and let it simmer for about a good four hours. We want to get a good rich stock. these little fat dippings in here. It's not much, but I add every single thing down to these pots. We're gonna add our water. You just want to cover. That was two cups. Four cups. And then we're gonna add four more cups. Okay, two more cups, and two more cups. It looks good to me. I have a total of eight cups of water, warm water at that. We're going to add some black peppercorns in here and our bay leaf. Black peppercorns and our bay leaves. You can crack these, but I prefer to leave these whole. Put that in there. And remember, guys, this will be on low to medium. You just want it to simmer for a good four hours. Two hours has gone by, two more to go. You can see the line where it started and where we're to. This is on a low cement. 